That's not a great map. Matchup's not awful, but our massive lack of gun depression. I mean, the thing is, because the mark's so low, we've only got to do 2.7. So, just very quickly from editing Max, I will say that you're not going to hear that much from me at this point. Because this game was played after the first of these videos have started to go out, I've actually started to talk through what I'm doing in-game to make editing easier whilst playing. So, it makes my life a lot easier. But if I need to chip in, then I still will. We'll go south. We'll go south, play up to here, see if we can get some early spotting or something. Alright, I'm gonna stay relatively high. Oh, wait, can we... we can hit those. Oh, this gun. Maybe. Hey, EB. How you doing? I mean, as long as we just don't get slapped by the FV. I'm just gonna try and spot with my turret up to the side. There you go. If we can kill him, that would be preferable. No. I think we hit the scent blind. In fact, I'm pretty sure we hit the scent blind. I'll uh, take. Spotting on that, I can't hit the BZ. I might be able to hit the T10 though. Okay, we do get a spot for that. What's going to be able to hit us though? Rask, probably. Nice. Come on, gun. Hold up. Huge. Oh! Aww. Oh. Try and spot the T10 again. Nice horse. Okay, the even 90 is in and around. That's bad. That's real bad. Let's get him to fall back. I haven't got to get under pressure for this, man. Try and support the middle as best I can, but also be ready not to be in middle. I have no idea what the f is going on there. Um, side turret. Side turret. Okay, now I've got to move. That'd be amazing. Come on, gun. Don't let me down. Not now. Not now. Not now. Not now. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Just gives us a little bit of freedom back because we now, like, spotting wise, it's not quite as bad. Oh, I thought he was, he was, I was hoping he was going to turn fully side turret. I mean, this game we are, we are, we're pretty buggered. The FV is still completely unspotted, which make me think he's in base somewhere. 
balls. Don't be spoiled, don't be spoiled, don't be spoiled. Good, 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 The fact that the TS has jumped out. Okay, he's got an SU friend. SU fired. Should have been HE, but got, got to do what you got to do. What you got to do. This guy's alive. HE shell from somewhere. Nice. Right. Right, K lines are unoccupied now. Ascent's gone north. We can now push, push back down. <clears throat> Actually, let's just peek up, see if we can spot. So that guy's there. He probably spots me. Yes, he does. Uh, what's going to be? Brask in mid. Don't know where the BZ is. That's that's an issue. Don't know where the FE is. That's also an issue. Get spotted. That's a triple issue. Try and spot with my turret. Don't get now. I just don't want to peek up here because I'm just worried that I'm going to get slapped by a BZ from mid somewhere. Or the FV's relocated to like there in base. But then also at the same time like we've got to do something. Good. This is coming. That guy's looking my way. Okay. Huge. Hmm. I'm trying to open. I have an angle on this guy. Okay, no, I'm not, because there's a brask. Oh, tats. I take 700 from one side or I take 700 from the other side. Great, I take 800 from that side. Because busy things, man. Oh, nearly 900. Go for AP on the Barask, and we load HE for the BZ. Have to pray. I clicked. I clicked. Oh, I clicked. Oh, I thought I clicked. And just gun depression. It's just so awkward coming over. Easy high roll really didn't help because at least if it if it have average rolled or low rolled we could have you know more 50 50 taken one from the brask and then you know you just you can just push him and you've got two seconds between between him hitting you and you having to shoot i was just so i was so concerned at the end there at all times with where the fv was not too shabby though chap not too shabby we did hit blind what was that Centurion at the start, I think it was. Must have been. It's not a bad game to mark it on. At least we didn't just get it across the line. Like that's really not not a bad game whatsoever. 
So, yeah, we we we'll, we will take that. We will take that. Not too bad. Um, what was the session? Three point one. That's actually not too bad. Three K overall in this thing's all right. How many games do we mark it in? Eighty-five. It's not awful. It's not awful. Ah, uh, yes, it could have been better, but I did have a couple of stinkers. I still can't believe we had an 8.1k game in it. That's just ridiculous, but hey-ho. But yeah, Mark ist le dame. So, as I said in the video, not a huge amount from editing Max there. And let me know what you think of that, um, whether you want more post or more in the moment what I'm thinking. I think in the moment what I'm thinking shows a lot better like my thought process and everything like that but let me know if you want more editing max kind of um input and map views and stuff like that i will try and keep a balance that game i was very good at kind of talking through what i was doing some i'm probably not as good so i'll try and keep a good balance but anyway if we bring the ratings up for this vehicle we start with overall tank rating again this is everything combined together in the tank into one rating and i have given it a two star it is not great honestly it's kind of in my opinion more of a 1.5 rather than a 2 but benefit of the doubt i'll give it a 2 as you heard me say so many times in that gameplay the gun depression sucks the gun actually kind of behaved that game so you didn't actually get a true sense of how annoying the gun can sometimes be. Combine that with the fact that the mobility isn't amazing and the armor's meh. It's, this is the best descriptive word I can use for that. For ease of marking, I have gone for a five star. So literally easiest it can be. The mark requirement is just simply so low. Like it's so low and the tank isn't abysmal. It's so easy to do because of that low requirement. And my marking experience, therefore, somewhere in the middle is a three out of five. This is how I actually felt whilst marking it. Like whether I was having a good time, whether I was hating it. So... 3 out of 5, it's, it, because it's so easy, you always feel like you're heading in the right direction, so I felt a lot happier about it. It can't be any higher than that, because actually the experience of playing the tank isn't that amazing. Like I said, struggling with gun depression, the gun being really frustrating at times, it is kind of difficult. But anyway... I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Again, please give your feedback in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you're this far and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Give the video a like as well so we can beat the algorithm. I know all YouTubers say it, but genuinely, I do notice a massive difference in how many new people come to the channel if the videos do well to start with with our subscribers. And outside of that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.